Good morning, I'm Grace Lee. Let's get your top stories. If you are looking to buy a new car, we have some bad news for you. The new Hawaii Auto Outlook was just released this morning, and it finds that the problems that we've had all throughout the pandemic are still plaguing that market. Supply chain issues are squeezing inventories. Inflation is surging along with interest rates, and consumer confidence is weak as inflation looms on the horizon. All those factors cause the number of new vehicle registrations in Hawaii to tumble by 14% from January through September. The report also estimates that between 2020 and 2023, about 25,000 vehicle purchases would have been postponed. That represents 43% of sales in an average year. Now, we spoke to multiple car salespeople who say they have customers waiting months, some nearly a year to buy a car but they simply do not have any available to sell. It's hard to say when these issues will be resolved, but analysts believe that next year will be better. They say rising prices have not dampened the pent-up demand, which is great news for car dealers. For consumers, experts believe that car prices will go down once supply chain issues improve. Honolulu police are still searching for the hit-and-run driver who killed a 66-year-old man Wednesday night on Nimitz Highway. HPD says that the vehicle was heading westbound just after 930. Investigators say that the victim may have been walking in the road, but they do not have a description of the vehicle. If you witness this crash, call Honolulu police. Verizon has fully restored service following an outage on Hawaii Island and Maui that affected 911 calls. The provider says that the outage was not related to a nationwide problem. The company says, quote, a fiber cut triggered a packet loss in our network, causing an interruption in service for some customers in Hawaii. How's that weather looking, Guy Hagi? Well, the weekend is shaping up better than what we've seen. We still got that juicy disturbance firing up thunderstorms, mostly out over the ocean. But there's still a chance for some heavy rain and thunderstorms for Hawaii Island today. And we'll still likely see some spotty downpours for everybody else. And those winds, they'll be picking up speed today. They'll be quite breezy. And the lucky thing, too, because once the breezy winds kick in, that'll help limit the rainfall buildups, limit the chance for flooding. So for today, partly sunny skies, there's also going to be more mid to high level clouds and that's why temperatures will be a little bit cooler today.